Explorers, it, it kind of mines into the, the, the human side of it because kids love to use it. Like I said, there's all kinds of programs out there that, that have the knowledge base built in, but if the kids aren't using it and the teachers can't use it because it's too complicated or, or it's not engaging enough, then what good is it? Exploros puts both, both the technical side of it, the academic side, along with the motivational side, and and the kids just love it. I mean, social studies, it, our history is just a story. That's all it is. You could make a, a great movie out of it or, or write a great book, which a lot of people do. And Exploros taps into that story and, and lets the kids become a part of the story. It's almost like they're in the story rather than on the outside looking in. So, so they, they buy into the whole idea of learning social studies. I was first introduced to Exploros while I was a social studies specialist at ESC Region 13. I thought it was a great resource because there were no tech technology type resources for social studies. Once I left the service center and started working at Mainer, um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to see how it could be used in Mainer because we have two struggling middle schools and one exemplary middle school. Teachers at Mainer Middle, there were two eighth grade teachers in particular who used it twice a week. Um, by using it twice a week, they were able to respond to data of students. They were able to look at what students knew and create small groups based off what they didn't know. Our points went up almost 20%. Yeah, we had growth. In fact, made our middle double. My experience with Exploros has been really good. You know, I think I, we have been provided with great um, support from the Explorers team, yourself included, but others as well. Um, everybody's very responsive. I also feel like we had ease of getting our teachers on board and getting them, you know, using it, the teachers that did use it. Um, so, so that was a relatively straightforward, easy process, which I know they appreciated as we did our sort of full-scale rollout last year with Exploros district-wide. So it's been good. It's been a, it's been a good experience. So I, I've had the opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had the opportunity to visit many classrooms in the last school year. I mean, when I was in those classrooms, I definitely noticed that the kids were engaged and they were responding to the, to the prompts. And, and we, see, we see that reflected in our data, you know, with our responses. and. I, I felt like I felt like when I saw when I saw the teachers doing it effectively, I felt like I saw it working really well with the kids. This is something that I've said from the game. This is when I first saw the when you guys presented it and I saw it the first time, I appreciated how it was built with the teacher with teacher instruction in mind and how the teacher was going to actually use it, giving them instructions, which I thought was very helpful. Um, so when I, when I go in classes and I see the teachers using those instructions that are built in to Exploros, I see it, it's very effective. Me and my team are the ones that are using the data the most. I, I mean, I look at it all the time. That's very helpful to us so we can, we can look and see, you know, where teachers are in terms of their usage and what sort of you know, responses are getting, and then, you know, what their scores are looking like, and try to see how we can use that to help them make good instructional decisions moving forward. We plan to use the Exploros data hand-in-hand -hand with our district data, you know, when we're having district assessments, to see the needs for our students and where the strengths are, where the growth areas are. That was the main reason that we bought Exploros was to help our meets and masters. And, and that's what I liked about it. It allowed those children, those um, top kiddos to really dig deeper and go a little further um, than what they might in a normal classroom and what they might have to in a normal classroom. In a normal classroom, they can sit back and just do what the bare minimum but Exploros really makes them dig deeper. I can structure it differently every day as where I can turn the kids loose and 
really let them work on their own and within their own little groups or if it's a teak that I know is a very important teak that I know they really need to dig into, then we can also do whole group with it. Um, so I kind of structure it different ways, just depending on the day and depending on the lesson, whether it's student, student led or teacher led. Using the data, if they don't score 70% or higher on, um, the lessons on the quizzes at the end of each lesson, then that gives me a starting point for those kids that I need to be pulling in for tutorials. Overall, their growth was, I was very pleased. I was, and so was our district, very pleased with our growth. I do want to point out one <coughs> game that we had. Um, at the first of the year, I give a release test, and I had an ESL student who, he scored on the release test like 13%. Now that was prior to any knowledge at all. That ESL child was one question from passing the test. He went from a 13% to 48%. And I think those are the kids that Exploros really helped. It really helped him um, grasp the material more so than anything I've ever done in the past as far as my ESL kids. Explorers is very comprehensive. There's a lesson on every topic, especially in the eighth grade, because that's one we've been using the most. At the very least, I know the content that the students are going over, that the students are learning, is tied into our standards, is going to provide them support, is going to give them opportunities to interact. And while there is no replacing an excellent educator, there is a foundation for those teachers who are working towards excellence or those teachers who are new. One of the big challenges we face every year is when I have an eighth grade teacher who's doing great, so they move up or they move on. And to have something in place that you're new, maybe you've never taught eighth grade or maybe you've never taught, period. Do at least this, learn as you're going start to bring in your own material, but having this foundation is going to help those students be successful. Our students who have used Exploros have an edge in the fact that it's on the, uh, the Chromebooks, because that's what we use in the district. Every student has access to a Chromebook. They're able to access curriculum, do work, submit assignments, receive feedback, and ultimately learn the content. Well, when we brought Exploros on, uh, B. Garza was on the peg list. They got off the peg list. They are now in the lower 60s. The other campus that has used it the most was Guaya. They were fourth amongst the four middle schools. They are now first among the four middle schools, which when you look at the demographics of the campus, it's you know, kids who need a lot of support. But giving explorers to the teachers a couple of years ago, having them work with it, having them plan with it, having them use it, and now having them grow because of it has really amped up the effectiveness of the teachers. It has put that social studies department in the limelight because look at how much they've gone through. They were in the 40s and now I think they were at 72, give or take. So they've gone up 20, almost 30 points in just a few years. I want to speak to that too. The little one pagers that excerpts over the information yep. that is scattered throughout the article um, summaries. Yeah. Yep. So beneficial. The one pagers are just hit every every main idea and are short and concise and and that's another way that you can pair your your lower struggling students or your ESL students with those kiddos that don't struggle. Um, and they hear the material from a peer and get that interaction. So the one pagers are phenomenal. I love that about um, about the Exploros. That, oh, I'm so delighted to hear that because that was a new feature last year based, based on teacher feedback that how do we continue to help and support those kids that yes. need a little bit of, whether it's the differentiated opportunity or it's, you know, particular language struggles. So, oh, I'm just delighted to hear that those have made, made a difference.